What's up guys, DGFX here, and Nick. Today I'm coming at you with part one of a three-part series. Um, what I'll be covering in this three-part series is how to first rig a character weight affected, which distributes the movements throughout the body on which moves and which doesn't. And then lastly, how to animate um, in Cinema 40. I got this request from a couple people. And, you know, I thought about it. Let's just go ahead and do it and whatnot. So, the first thing you have to do is find your character you want to rig. Uh, there's a couple different places I recommend. If you go to Google and search the free 3D models. And then right here, TF3DM. It has a bunch of free 3D models. Um, and you can get a bunch of good, you know, um deals I guess whatever you want to call it just make sure when you search in you download the cinema 41 and not uh, I think OBGA works too but anyway also if you go to youtube.com and then there's another one um let's see it's facts editing's brother I think and it's called the 3d models right here and they have a bunch of, uh, he has a bunch of good inventory inventory of meshes and stuff like that so after you find your mesh and everything you want to download it to your computer let me go to my asset drive yep I have a 500 gigabyte drive dedicated just to holding all kinds of stuff, 3D models, sound effects, overlays, uh, video copilot, I have the action essentials, designer sound effects, all that, um, phase fatal, <laughs> anybody remembers him, just uh, everything I need to edit with. So my 3D models, and then we're going to find, I have a Call of Duty model pack, characters, uh, let's bring in this guy right here, Moffat 3 character, bring him in, and import him. So there we go. So now you have your character imported into Cinema 40. Uh, a couple ways to do it was just like I did, drag the file into Cinema 40. He'll bring it back up there. Or go to File, Merge, and it's actually bringing a different one. One that's really common without the community, and I'll, I probably will put a download description for him, and that is Mr. Movie Star right here. It's actually Control C. Let's do a new project. Let's make sure we just have him solo with all that other guy. There we go. This guy has been a movie star throughout the Call of Duty community. I don't know how many times I have used him, as well as the whole community, in an edit. So, uh, I wish the textures wouldn't be on it. But when you import them into the, what you call it, into Cinema 40, he most, most likely 90%, he will be black completely. He'll have no textures on it. And to texturize them, you click these little balls right here and these are texture tags now what you can do is you see there's different little um, tabs under each category texture and you can go down here where it says texture it'll have a location and this will probably be black and you have to find it so you're going to find that exact texture which you just go over to PMC3 textures and then hit open yes and I'll import texture now make sure you go to the normal tab make sure the normal selected the specular color and yeah and do that for all of these then after that you should have your soldier all dressed up and everything and all good like that so the next thing you want to do is go to so the next thing you want to do is import your bones I will have a free um, rigid body, what they're called, not rigid body, rigged, let's see, biped, there we go, um, which basically a biped is a rigged set of bones for whatever mesh you're trying to animate, um, and I mean, this is the most common, so I'll put a download link in the description, and all you want to do is line it up with, line him up, uh, with the soldier so right here, have him like that. Uh, I need to rotate him. There we go. 
And also I need to scale him down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring his pelvis and meet up with the center of his pelvis. And when I scale it up, it should sense they're both the center of each other. Um, I won't have to worry about too much problems. Let me look in. About right there, I would say. Looks pretty good like that. Okay. And now we're trying to scale it down. Alright, and now I want to look around. I want to make sure all the bones are in the right spot. I don't really want them all sticking out everywhere. Um, if I need to scale them up or down a little bit more, I will, which I don't think I need to. I think I'm going to bring this whole thing up to where bomb his feet up. Which, yeah, that's all it is. The feet. There we go. Uh, there we go. That looks pretty good. I mean, it's just a little bit of bone sticking out somewhere. It's all good. Um, all of your, all of your bones don't need to be in your body. It's no big deal. <laughs> um, and as you see, luckily with this mom, we're pretty, pretty close up, um, matching everything. Uh, as we're still gonna have to work with that forearm right there. Um, so let me show you how to move those. So your body pit should be consisted of tons of bones, right? Taking up all these different, you know, areas that we named already. Um, we need to make sure we get to right here to the left forearm and you don't want to come there and use the uh, oh, translate tool that's not really going to help you out as it just drags the, um, the arm out and makes it longer which is not what you need you actually have to come up to your upper arm right here you can use the rotate tool because that will rotate it on the joint because I just when we move our arms we rotate our joints we don't stretch out our arms and make our bones grow as we move around. It's kind of common sense right there. So make sure it's all set up. Just kind of look right around. And as you see, I'm about to move the form a little bit because of that right there. Right. And then right there I mean I'm not really worried too much I never really worry about too much about the hands because I don't really use them <laughs> but um because they're kind of in a they're kind of in a what you call it a vague uh position right now I mean they're not really in a really different position than you know uncommon positions so they're in a really common position right now that don't really need to worry about changing um, it looks pretty good when in production but I have another model I use when I need to close up the hands or anything and I use just the arms themselves all right yeah that's not good this wants to work right Damn. Let's see if this one will work. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, so that looks pretty good. <clears throat> As you see, um, all the bones are in place and everything like that. And now, if just because you have them on place, if you try to use, move the model, it won't work. It would just sit there. And let me just save this real quick. Tutorial. Uh, mesh. All right, sorry about that, guys. So, where was that? Yeah, so we have our model and everything. He, he's not rigged. Like, these bones aren't bonded to his body. They're just there now. So now what you got to do is do something called binding, which binding is really simple. It's a simple click of two buttons. So, let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, two buttons. So, what you gotta do is you gotta make sure all the bones are selected in the biped. 
to do this you want to you want to click on it just because you click on it and then click on the mesh and you have more selects and click bind doesn't mean it's gonna bind them right you gotta click on it you gotta right click select children now hold down control and click the mesh and you'll have both everything selected together if you look at it um, yeah all the bones everything like that will be selected so now you can bind to bind you go to character commands bind as you see your mesh will get this little bone tag right here and here is all the bones and joints so now a simple way to test it always do is just grab left thigh and boom he can kick and simple as that uh, nah, 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 nah. Now, this is pretty much it for tutorial one. Um, hopefully, I went in depth enough for you guys, so you can at least get this worked on. Um, in one day, not tomorrow, but the next day, I'll have the weight effectors, which is actually something that is actually really critical. Because, so you have this body rigged and everything, but what happens when I move the left arm? His whole rib cage moves with it, and this ain't right. So I'm going to show you guys how to fix it to where just his left arm is isolated, and you don't have to worry about his rib cage or other parts of his body moving when you move one thing. I think that kind of works too with his, the foot, like his leg, his shin right there starts to move with it. That's not right. But anyway, so I can control Z enough so I can get his leg back down. There we go. Not too far back. Anyway, guys, this is it for part one of this tutorial. Um, today is Sunday, the 15th. Next video will be uploaded Tuesday, the 17th. And then lastly, Thursday, the 19th. Um, I'll have all, part th all three parts. So expect all these tutorials. Uh, as well, my birthday is this weekend. Well, uh, next weekend, Saturday the 21st. So, thank you guys for all the happy early birthdays. <laughs> anyways, uh, anyway, guys, this is DJFX. Hope you have a nice day. Peace.